Okay, here we are again. The rain finally stopped. And uh, today's project, we're gonna put this one by two radius edge, one eighth wall in the back window. So we laid it out, used some, uh, some uh, masking tape, some blue tape to do the layout. We got about a foot in between each one, like 13 inches. I like to use the number 13 where I can. Some some might say it's unlucky, but I, I, I like it. I use it a lot when I was building my boat and it worked out well. So this is what it's gonna look like. We're gonna cut each one of these out and tap them into place. And very important with this that you don't cut them short because yeah, you could stick them in there a little bit short, but when you go to weld it, it's gonna shrink and it'll put a bow in the top here so it's very important to get everything cut cut and fit exactly right meaning if if we make it here to here and we're an eighth short up here sure we could fill that in with weld but if we do it in towards the middle it's when you weld it and it cools it's going to shrink and it's going to pull this down and we'll end up with a bow in the top here and that that will look very obvious and uh not not professional so one thing to keep in mind so if anything, I like to keep them a little long and tap them into place. That way, when there is just a little bit of shrinkage, you can fake it. You can cheat it. You just do the best you can. We got this thing jigged up. This is to keep it nice and straight. You see that? Got the cab covered up. This keeps everything nice in line. We got it fit up real nice, and we'll just tack it in place right now. And then we'll take a look and make sure it's straight. But all, all we did, we clamped this straight edge across and then spaced it out to put it in the center of the three inch and that's the way we do it keep it straight and we'll check everything keep it nice and square and this this takes a lot longer than putting one tacking it putting one tacking it putting one tacking it that is one way to do it but this way it takes a little time but it will ensure that the top the top straight piece stays straight so in other words if you tack one in over there and then you measure over here. The gap gonna shrink as you go down. That one's gonna be shorter, then that one's gonna be shorter, then that one's gonna be shorter. Cause as you're tacking them, this has no support, so it's shrinking. And then you're gonna end up with a big bow in the top and it'll be very obvious. So to, to fight that, we put them all in one time and then we use the straight edge and the clamps, the fixture, and we'll tack them in and then we'll take a look and then we'll uh, weld them out.